Okay, so we have a word problem here, which will require us to divide fractions in order to solve. Well, how do we know that this problem requires us to divide fractions? Well, if we take a look at the problem, the question is asking us, how many times taller is Kyle's father than him? Well, just let's imagine for a moment that Kyle's father was, let's just say, 8 feet tall, which is not realistic, but let's just say that really quick. And let's say Kyle was 4 feet tall. Well, something like this would be really easy. We could say that Kyle's father is exactly two times as tall as Kyle. And we could just take 8 divided by 4 to figure out what that number is. However, Kyle's father is not twice as tall as Kyle. Because Kyle is 5 feet tall, that would require Kyle's father to be 10 feet tall. We can see that Kyle's father is over a foot taller than Kyle. In fact, he is one foot and one quarter of a foot taller than Kyle. But the question is asking us how many times taller is Kyle's father than him. They are not asking how much taller he is. If he was asking how much taller is Kyle's father, then we would subtract the two fractions and say that he is one and one quarter feet taller than Kyle. Well, to figure out how many times taller Kyle's father is than him, we have to take Kyle's father's height, which is six and a quarter feet, and divide that by Kyle's height, which is five feet tall. Now, when you are dividing fractions and one of those values is a mixed number, you must change that to an improper fraction first. So we always keep our denominator the same, which is a 4 in this case. We multiply the denominator times the whole number. 4 times 6 is 24, plus our numerator is 25. So 25 quarters is equivalent to 6 and 1 quarter. And we have to change any whole numbers into a fraction and when we are dealing with dividing fractions, we have to change our division sign to multiplication and write the reciprocal of the second fraction. So now we have the fraction 25 quarters multiplied by 1 fifth. Now, if we multiply 25 by 1, we get 25. And 4 times 5 is a product of 20. Now, 25 and 20 both share a common factor of 5. So we can divide the top and the bottom numbers by 5 to reduce this fraction. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. Now we can take our improper fraction of 5 quarters and rename that as a mixed number. And to do that, you really just divide your numerator by the denominator. Well, 5 divided by 4 is 1 with 1 left over. But that leftover we use to express as our numerator over a denominator. So we would say that 5 quarters is equivalent to 1 and 1 fourth. So we would say that Kyle's father is 1 and 1 fourth times taller than his son. Okay, let's try another example. This problem reads that Jacqueline is a long jumper for her high school team. Her first jump was 14 and 3 quarters feet. Her second jump was 11 and 4 fifths feet. How many times longer was her first jump than her second jump? So we're going to start with the longer jump, which is 14 and 3 quarters feet. And we are going to divide that by the length of her second jump, which is 11 and 4 fifths feet. And the result will tell us how many times longer her first jump was than her second jump. Next, we have to rename these as improper fractions. 4 times 14 is 56, plus 3 more is 59, so that would be 59 quarters. Divided by 5 times 11 is 55, plus 4 more is 59, so we have 59 fifths. Now notice that with the second fraction, my denominator is still a 5. That means I did not write the reciprocal of this second fraction yet. So I still have to rewrite this problem as 59 quarters multiplied by 5 59ths. Now, whenever you are multiplying fractions together, we should note that if you ever have a number on the top and the bottom that are identical to each other, we can simply cross those two values out. And that leaves us with a numerator of 5 and a denominator of 4. 
And when we rename 5 quarters as a mixed number, we get 1 and 1 fourth. So we would say that Jacqueline's first jump was 1 and 1 quarter times longer than her second jump.